Hey guys, uh, mid-May here um, in my little secret spot here on the Columbia. Uh, not so secret spot actually. Um, I'm going to be fishing for smallies today. Uh, standard rattle trap. Uh, try a little bit of this crawfish super gel. Uh, I'm at the mouth of the creek here. God, I wish I could remember the name. I'll put it in the comments below. But uh, there's a ton of caddisflies, larvae in here and stuff like that. And I see little fish rising all over the surface. I have no idea what the fish are. So uh, we'll try that out. I'll, I'm also trying out a new left hand retrieve 201 HG Corrado by Shimano. We'll see how this thing performs, but it's got a pretty rate. Uh, it's a 7.4 to 1 retrieve rate. So we'll see if I can uh, crank up some uh, nice smallies, but uh, gorgeous day out here. Just absolutely dead calm. Uh, water temperature 51 right here. I think it's a little warmer out on the Columbia, but uh, no, no, uh, no real current to speak of here right so far, but I know it's ripping out there on the Columbia. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can hook up. Cruising by some of these islands out here in the Columbia, just dragging my rattle trap right along the edges and the current lines here. Trying to get into some of this still water over here, right behind the island. Let's see what we can uh, drum up here. Decent sized fish. Oh yeah. It's a hog, whatever it is. Oh, it's not moving. Oh, it just clobbered my rattle trap. It almost yanked my rod right out of the rod holder. Hasn't showed itself yet. Nice, smally. These things fight like crazy. I swear to God, this would have been a another pound or two bigger, but uh, just absolutely beautiful. Good color. All right, let's get this guy back in the uh, in the water here. Off you go. All right, we're on again. little chunk. Now what is that about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. Good looking fish. Let that one go. There you go buddy. Yeah, there we go, we're on again. <laughs> Wow, that is the biggest pike minnow I've ever seen. Jesus Christ. That's incredible. My God. 
It's got to be three or four pounds. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I've never seen one this big ever. Look at that thing. That's wild. I didn't know they got this big actually. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> well, he's not getting back in the river, let's put it that way. All right, so what we have here is pike minnow. This guy's an invasive, and uh, it's the biggest one I've ever seen. Definitely not going back in the river. These guys eat a lot of salmon. They spawn a lot, so this guy's gonna stay here. All right, we're on. I don't know what it is with these trains, but every time I get a train, I hook up. Feels pretty good, but then again, all these smallmouth are amazing. No net needed for this guy. So I'm in Cascade Locks here. Uh, uh, kind of a tragic day, but uh, a plane just crashed right here about a mile from me right down the river uh, I didn't actually see it go in But it there are a lot of boats over that direction and I see a lot of police and uh, fire heading that way Sounds like they pulled one survivor from the water, but the plane sunk Not really sure um, I guess I'm gonna hear about it on the news tonight, but uh, Obviously, I'm not really in a position to pedal a mile and a half to get over there uh, to go help, but there's a lot of other boats on the scene, so uh, very, uh, very sad. Well, I'm heading back in. It was a good day out here. Uh, quite a few smallmouth. Um, got that enormous pike minnow, um, which I didn't even know they got that big. Um, I know there's like a catch and kill reward program for those things. Obviously, I didn't sign up for it, but uh, he's definitely not swimming in the river anymore. Uh, help uh, protect those salmon and the other fish coming downstream when they're hatching. So apparently they're quite voracious. So um, yeah, just wrapping it up. Uh, just kind of go over some of the stats. It's, uh, water temp is about 57 degrees on the mainstream of the Columbia, just off Government Cove. Um, yeah, great day. Very overcast, but uh, good bite, mainly in the afternoon. Um, lots of fry on the top of the water, jumping around. I have no idea what they are but uh, good day fishing otherwise. So, see you next time.